shipments. So there are basically two different types of shipments that you can use when you're having your car delivered from Japan to basically any part of the world. And those two different types of shipments include Roro shipment and container shipment. Roro shipment is basically refers to simply roll on and roll off shipment in a way that when you are, when you are having your car delivered, we simply uh, drive a car, roll on to the ship uh, and whenever the ship arrives to the port of the destination, wherever you are, basically whoever is uploading it, they will simply drive the car off from that ship. And there are specific vessels that unload up to five, six thousand cars in one vessel. And they basically, once they leave a part, uh, the, from the port here in Nagoya, for example, they stop by several different ports along their way. If it's going to the United States, they're not just simply going to one port. They're stopping by several different ports in the United States and offloading the cars wherever the car needs to be delivered at the order. And this type of shipment is most commonly used and big companies such as Toyota or Nissan or, or Honda, whenever they ship a lot of cars from Japan, they use exactly this type of shipment. And it's cheaper and a lot more convenient and a uh, little bit slower, but uh, uh, most commonly used uh, way of shipping the car from Japan to any part of the world. And it's much more cheaper than the other type of shipment, which is container shipment. In container shipment, you can basically use two different containers, 20 foot container or 40 foot container. And basically in 20 foot container, you can load one to two cars. And in 40 foot container, you can load two to four cars, depending on your needs. And in this container, we are shipping this car out, Bayside Blue GTR R34, respect to newer, to Canada. And at, at the request of our customer, Danny Hoffman, who purchased this car, we are loading this car in 20 foot container uh, only as one car. And as you, as you can see, it's tight, tied up. It's a very safe and secure, and we will shut this container. And whenever the car reaches to uh, the port, which is in this car's case, it's going to be one core port, Danny himself, but the importer will be opening the car. So no one is gonna drive, no one is gonna touch the car until the car reaches to its destination. Unless basically the, the, uh, the officials at the port might suspect something that might be, uh, that might need inspection or something, which is not going to be the case most of the time because they have a super powerful x-rays that x-rays the, 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 the basically inside the container. And most of the time there's nothing suspicious inside the container except for the car and some of the ports that it might have. So some of the benefits of shipping your car inside the container is that unlike the Roro, you cannot put any parts or anything inside the part inside the inside the car when you're shipping the car in the, in Roro shipment. But when you're shipping the car in the container shipment, you can pretty much put anything you want as long as it's uh, it's illegal, of course, any part or anything that you might want inside the car, or even in the container, as long as we can load them safely and securely. But one uh, backdrop of container shipment is that it's more expensive, sometimes twice to three times more expensive than having the car shipped through Roro shipment. But again, it's a private shipment and uh, you can also get an extra insurance for the container shipment. And it's usually a little bit faster as well compared to shipping the car using Roro shipment. And in Roro shipment from Nagoya port for any part of the world, basically there's usually one ship, one vessel leaving from this port. Uh, if you want to have it delivered to Florida or New York or, 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 or Washington or, or Bremer Haven port or basically anywhere, there's usually one ship leaving a month. But in container, we have one vessel we have, we can find basically a, a week that is basically leaving from Nagoya port that is headed to somewhere nearby your port at the, at the port of your request. So this is pretty much it for the shipment. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and you'll be happy. And I'll personally be happy to check your comments and get back to you.